hi everyone i hope you're all doing well i'm doing well as well here so today the video is totally different and finally rail i've decided to do this because i think today is the right day to do this i've been wanting to do this video for such a long time and i've never get the chance i've never get the time or maybe sometimes i get bored to do this you know and sometimes i feel like no it's still small you don't have to share now because it's not enough but i was like you know what it is what it is i'm going to share my bag collection i'm looking down here i'm like wow it's not small <laughs> as i thought but it's enough to share with you guys and i'm going to share everything here with you guys before i start i want to say that the first ever louis vuitton's bags that i own in the beginning when i started to collect luxury bags they are no longer here with me i've sold some i've returned some at louis vuitton and some gotten stolen when i went to give birth to my son baby killian so it's not everything here and i don't think if i want to talk about them because they are not in the collection they are no longer here they they have gone here i've sold two and i returned one and some they got stolen anyway i'm just going to share with you guys what i currently have and i'm not going to talk about the bags that i am thinking to purchase uh in the future so i'm not going to talk about that i'm just going to share with you guys the current bags that i have here okay and some are single brand one piece some are many so i'm gonna start with first ever luxury uh, brand to purchase when i started to purchase luxury bags so i'm going to start with first ever purchase and i still have it here and these are small um accessories from louis vuitton so when i started to buy luxury bags this was the first item that introduced into luxury so i went to louis vuitton and i remember it was 2011 no in 2012 my when my daughter she was only five months old i went to louis vuitton and get this one just for myself and just to get to know the brand so this was the first ever louis vuitton luxury mini wallet key, key clay it's actually key clay but for me i use it as a mini wallet and all these years that i have i've been using it as my mini wallet and you cannot believe me in here i have 27 cards it has worn i think now the chain it's starting to be silver but i don't know how to let it go because it reminds me of how i started to love luxury I'm gonna put it there and then I was like I need a car uh -uh, pff, I need a car <laughs> anyway I need a key car, a key holder and I bought this one not long after I got that one I think after six months I got this this is also 20 2012 uh, 2012 year so I got this one. This is a six key ring holder from Louis Vuitton, Damier Iben. I can say, guys, this, it's everything. If I don't have this, I feel like I'm empty somehow because my house key is here. And sometimes I even put some credit card back here or cards back here, as you can see. And it's key six. It's a six key ring. So you can see yeah it has my house key it has everything that i need for everyday life then it was cheaper in gold hardware as you can see here the gold hardware is starting to be silver it's really worn the thread is starting to peel off like it it, it it has really served me for a long time and as i said i don't think if i will let them go i will change into another print i will still keep this will remind me on how i started to have love for luxury so this is the house key and then 
after some i think two years i got this one and this piece here is discontinued. Louis Vuitton did it for, I think, two years or two and a half years. And then they discontinued. So it's nowhere to be seen. I mean, it, it, they have something similar to this, but not in canvas, maybe in leather, if I'm not wrong. And, you know, guys, comment down below if you... I think they have some in leather, not in canvas. But this particular monogram round coin purse in canvas they were dis it, it, they discontinued so i have i was so lucky to get this one and have been having it as well for a long time and i still love it it's in good condition even though you cannot see the fascetta leather because now it's kind of dark brown almost like the monogram itself because of the oils and all those things so love this that was my third purchase and the same time i got that round coin purse is the same time i the same day i got this uh toiletry pouch i got this one and then i was using then when i got it it was like my evening bag clutch bag and i can still use it there's nothing wrong with it i stopped wearing this so it's just my toiletry pouch that i wear when i travel i put them in the, i put it in my bag i put my things that i need for my face care you know and then put it inside the bag when i travel to wear as a bag maybe i will start to wear it again but so far so yes at the moment no i just need it for a cosmetics pouch so that is number four and then later when my bags got stolen so this was another bag but i didn't get it from louis vuitton direct this one was from second hand i got it it came only the bag with chain and then i had to go to louis vuitton and get the shoulder strap at the end the bag costed me a lot but i was like you know what at the end of the day i need this shoulder strap so that i can wear the bag as crossbody so yeah this is eva clutch i do wear this bag a lot winter summer for me this bag sometimes i don't know the season i don't know when to wear this bag normally it's summer bag because the canvas is brighter so it's a summer bag but sometimes i do wear it even in winter so that one i got it on a second hand and then later i got this girl from a friend from instagram she showed me this bag and she she told me that she was selling it and i told her send it to me and then i will pay you so that's what she she did she sent it and then later i paid her after i saw the quality the condition and the bag the way it was you know so this one i got it from her friend on instagram and this is dami azure speedy 35 i love this bag it's more for summer but as i said i don't know sometimes when to wear my bag sometimes i pull this bag but not much as the small one in winter but this one in summer a lot i pull it out so love this one so this is my small small louis vuitton and i know you're asking yourself where is the gm one that you put your your kid's name on it yeah i started to see the wear and tear of that bag and i didn't want to wait for long so i had to sell it to a friend because she was always when i meet her she liked my bag she was talking about until one day i asked her do you want to buy this bag as a joke and she said yes and she paid well so i was like take even now take with you <laughs> so that's when i sell it i sold it that's why it's not in this collection now to the next bag which is very individual this is my second luxury bag after the micro course then after i got these small accessories from louis vuitton i got to get two micro course bags which i sold to a friend as well direct and i got my money back and i was so happy to sell it because i saw it later on youtubers video 
how it wears and i didn't want that to happen to me i mean she paid well because the bag was not so expensive so she paid well and then this this brand i don't see it anywhere in switzerland especially in zurich boutiques i don't see these bags it's from this brand that is called um, lancel lancel paris this this bag i bought it in summer many years ago i think nadine then she was because my bag some some of my bag they remind me the time that my daughter she was younger so then nadine she was about a year then i got this bag in summer this bag i didn't pay full price i paid half price because they were discontinuing the brand in the boutique and i wear the i wear this bag and then a lot a lot a lot but then when i bought my first louis vuitton bag i stopped wearing this bag completely up to date i don't wear this bag and i don't want to sell it because i love the color it's summer it has silver hardware it's a big enough and this is the only currently the big bag that i own in leather yes this is the only big bag that i own in leather and luxury this brand i don't know where to find this bag if i will ever find this brand i would like to buy it in black color because i think black i will wear more than this color which is a seasonal color anyway i love it it has thick handles as you can see the bag is almost brand new it's still looking good the silver it's still shining and my daughter now she's 11 years almost 12 years so it's i don't know because i don't wear a lot or i don't wear at all this bag that's why it's still looking good and pristine condition and i cannot sell it because it's not worthy to sell this bag not unless i sell it to a, pre a person direct that i know and yeah as i said i don't want to sell this bag love the way it looks the shape is a little bit slouchy i love this bag. maybe i should pull out this summer yeah so this is the single bag and another bag that i also bought it was this one here that is single and the only michael Kors bag that i i have in my entire bags collection this is the only michael Kors that i have i love this dusty pink and gold hardware and it says here michael Kors, and it has four feet it's very mini it's nice to go for evening but the problem why i don't wear this bag uh, it is because there is no outfit that will match this bag and i don't know where i was thinking to buy this bag in this color because they had in black but i didn't choose black yeah i don't know why because i i do regret why i chosen this color the bag is nice the shape it's reminding me of kelly bag you know but yeah the shape and the the, the style it's reminding me of kelly bag but i regret why i didn't choose black so i got this dust pink i don't wear it and i'm waiting for one of my two daughters to tell me mom can you just give me this bag i will wear i think nadine she will wear this more or stacy i don't know so yeah i will just keep it here they will come and enjoy it so that is the also single bag that i have another single bag that i own is this one here this one i was like looking for something for crossbody and black that's why i got this one it's from the brand called gianni giarini the brand here it's worn out because it's written with the gold print and it's worn out you cannot see it but it's from gianni giarini and it's an italian brand i love the shape of the bag thick strap the gold hardware everything this bag can fit a lot even though it's small but nowadays i don't pull it a lot but it's a bag that if i don't want to be seen with a logo bag or a luxury 
bag that it's well known out there then i do wear this one i enjoy and i love the fact that it has this thick strap yeah the other single bag that i have is this one here this is a swiss brand it's called moreros i got this clutch because i didn't want to get the actual bag because of some reason you know but i like the idea of this canvas is a waterproof. Nothing can happen to this bag when you ha once you have it, and they repair things once you you are a customer to this brand. They repair the zipper with the time, but you have to pay something small. So this is a Swiss brand. It's called Moleros. Yeah, this is the only single bag that I have from the Swiss brand. The other single bag that I have is this small cute bag that I got recently. But really, do I need this bag? No, but I love the accent of the red and the brand is called Ghani. This is my first and only bag that I have at the moment from Ghani. It comes with this black stripe, which is a good accent of uh, you know red and black and silver i wish it was gold but it it is okay in silver so this is another single bike that i have from ghani another single bag that i have is this one here as you can see this is how i wear my things and appreciate them and put them in a good condition where i can sell it later or give it down to my kids and i know it's not the <laughs> investment bag but it's okay you know it is what it is you know and this is the journey of me this is how i love my collection i love my collection and if i will ever buy these small bags and of these bags that i have here they will make me to appreciate how i started my journey to collect the bags okay we will ne you ne you never know like life can change okay so this is my first and only at the moment fendi bag and this is a vintage i got it on a second hand market and i paid a good price it was in a good a reasonable price is this here azuka print and this is a chef bag love it in white leather i wish it was brown or black so that i can wear the entire year but this bag i wear a lot in summer and yeah i love the shape gold hardware when i got this bag it was new 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 the gold hardware they were shining now it's a little bit uh worn out because i've worn this bag in summer last year i really appreciate buying things and getting things on a second hand market another single bag and i also got this one in a second hand market so this is from doce cabana this the only at the moment doce cabana bag that i own and it's a leather bag with the gold hardware again vintage this bag it's nowhere to be seen only the vintage ones you can see it then people are like the bigger the logo it is the better it is <laughs> so this is a humongous and heavy metallic in gold hardware that says a doce and cabana everywhere in this in these details here yeah i got it and it was like a price for free <laughs> yeah i loved it and you know small bags they were in and they i think they are still in so this was my bag that i got one and only at the moment doce cabana bag love it and appreciate it another single bag that i have is this one here so when i started to buy basket bag this was the first one that i got it in a small store here in zurich and it's a brand it's called jaina genia kim it comes with this extra pouch zipper pocket 
magnetic and the wood top handles black this is the only black basket bag that i own or raffia bag that i own love it love the shape but it can get heavy and then it can start to hurt because this is wood so i don't carry it for a long time and i don't like to wear it a lot nowadays because it has a rough finishing sometimes it destroy my dresses and i don't like that so these are the single bags that i have that they don't have multiple partners on the same brand so now i'm going to start with the bag that there are two pieces this one is my first ever loive basket bag and more to come in the future because i do plan to buy the brown one i love that brown one anytime i see someone wearing that bag i feel like oh my god i should buy that one yes i will buy but i don't know if it's this year or next year anyway i will let you know you are family i will let you know guys so i love this bag it has special um moments into my life because when i purchased this bag it's the same day that the designer uh of loive they were having loive was having um an event and i got to see the designers and since i bought this bag on the specific day that they were there so it has some special moment with me and i love it love this bag so much quality good the bag is still in a good condition love it so this is my first ever louis v bag and then i got this girl on a second hand market love her she was new 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 when i got her i've worn her non-stop and she's starting to lose her value <laughs> yes i'm telling you guys she's starting to lose her value and i wanted to buy this bag in black but seeing how it wears i don't want to i i don't think if i will buy the bag black one i don't know because it's it's really nice it's beautiful it's light it's functional because it has top handle and a long strap to put it on your shoulder but the wearing tear, I'm talking about this part here, guys. This part here, for many people who have this bag, they have filled the type of way because this bag, it's not sturdy like this one. And it's actually expensive than this one. This is very a durable material, even though it's canvas. Even though it's natural fabric, it's more durable than this. Because this one starts to chip up here on the corner. On the other side, not as much, but here it's more. So the more you wear, the more it chips. And the value to sell it on a second hand market, I don't think if it's good. Not unless if I want to sell it and then I have to take it now, 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 now before it wears down. But then I want to keep it. I want to wear it until it chops until everything. <laughs> yeah. But for the price that I paid this bag, it deserves than to pay full price in the boutique. So it's expensive for the look is really good the workmanship of this bag it's really good and it has more work than the other one but the way it wears i will highly recommend that you buy this bag in a second hand market instead of paying full price yeah so these are the two single bag so let me start now with a big and I'm so surprised how big it is. And I think it's because it's affordable and it's very good quality. So this is my first ever Longchamp tote bag. Lippy Liage in brown and gold hardware. I wear this bag to go to school, to work, 
to swim to gym it's really really a good bike yeah i've been in the gym before okay <laughs> even though i don't look like but i i sometimes i take myself to gym okay so this bag it's really good and it's easy to wear when i wear this and it's a rainy day or rainy week i don't have to worry about the leather about the canvas because it's a kind of waterproof canvas water doesn't go in because inside they have something so this bag inside it has this lining in white color i think it's the same canvas but inside it's in white color and that makes rain not to come in or water not to come in not unless you really put it inside the water and then the water will come in anyway so i love this bag it's really functional and i love the fact that it's not from the green project it's i think this one they still have it because it's not on the green project where they have the green at the end here later on my love grew into longchamp i got this one small bag sometimes i do wear this bag to go out with my husband for dinner or for a drink love it love the way it's small silver hardware black leather very nice it can fit a lot even though it's small so this is like a mini lip liage i got another one in red color again very classic without that green if i say green don't worry it's about this green here this is a project recycling project this is the old classic line so i love it because it's red again in gold hardware brown leather really nice and then i got myself small bag in leather in silver hardware i love this bag i wanted the beige one by the time i made my decision the bag was sold out and they never bring it back so this is this only bag that i have from langchamp that is leather entirely leather love it and then i got myself small cute bag last summer love this bag this bag is so easy to wear so functional as you can see her the way she's so small she can carry a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and i love her she comes with the long strap which you can wear as a crossbody or shoulder strap love it in gold hardware she can fit really a lot love her love with small horses around it's really the best bag so this one is called mini lip chain mini tote bag love it and then i got myself this one this bag it's really nice if you know you know it's that kind of the bag if you know you know it's not shouting long champ it's just if you know you know love it in black leather this is a good size this is the bag that i will highly recommend if you don't want to carry your a lot can fit in here and the good thing is it comes with shoulder strap you can wear it a crossbody or a top handle i love this bag so i think this is their beach bag or raffia bag line from long shop they still have it this year so and it's very affordable for the price and for the bag that you get and i've worn this bag a lot last summer and i'm planning to wear it a lot in this summer so love it so nice and then because i loved the bag that much I got myself in white because when you wear white clothes in summer you want to also maybe matchy matchy a little bit so this white one i also loved it they still have it in the store and i love the fact that it is white and this can neutral color canvas 
love it at the back it doesn't have any logo only on the front if you know you know and it comes with shoulder strap it has gold hardware really nice bag love it yeah i'm, I'm surprised how i have so many bag <laughs> and then later i saw this one i was like yes 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 i got this one from langshamp again and this was limited edition i don't think if they will have it this summer if yes i will let you know guys and uh, i love it for the price point some they thought i'm crazy to pay that but this is a handmade bag natural material and to make this kind of style bag it can be hard not like the loive ones but still i really love the bag that's why i end up paying that much money every time i wear this bag i got a lot of compliment a lot of compliment in the street in the boutique at work I just got a lot of compliment when I have this bag. And this is the bag that I own that people complimented me. How cute, how good it is. It has one pocket inside where you can store your phone. iPhone 8, it fits perfect. And iPhone 14 or 12 Pro Max, it's a little bit taller when it comes to the pocket. But I love it in gold hardware brown classic um leather and this bag if it will ever get broken leather i will take it back to longchamp and they will fix it maybe i will pay something small but not that much so they will fix the leather and yeah if this get broken or get worn in the future they cannot fix it only the leather but anyway i love the bag I love the style and it reminded me of Birkin. We all know Jane Birkin, okay? <laughs> she was wearing this raffia, this similar raffia bag, but has it was entirely raffia and it has something like uh, a cover to cover on top. I will insert the picture if I will get for Jane Birkin when she was wearing this bag. So out of this bag, that's a raffia basket bag. That's how the Borkin bag, the Borkin bag is named after Jane Borkin. So girls, <laughs> the dreams are always valid. That's how I believe the dreams are always valid. If I will ever purchase my Birkin bag that I'm waiting from Hermes, they will be closer to each other. I love the story behind it. I love the fact that she owned the basket bag and the, she loved it. It's not like she didn't have money to buy a proper bag, but I think she was more loving person when it comes to natural fabric. So this one, in the future who knows and i will put her and the bokken on the side dream dream always are valid yeah and then after all because i'm going to german classes this is my last bag from langchamp this is a a, a bag bag pack as you can see here i love it I wear sometimes when I don't wear my, my bags to go to school. Now, last but not least, my recent purchase. My recent purchase. And I think she is, for me, the queen of my luxury bags collection. I love this bag. And it's so amazing that I got this bag when I really didn't think of it. When I really 
I really even didn't I, I was not even talking about this bag and it happens magical that she came on the right time when I was ready to buy something so this is the queen of my all canvas bag she is beautiful I love her she is my queen at the moment <laughs> and i do adore this bag so much so this is the bag that is going to finish the show with us the celine phantom bag that i got it a few weeks ago and i'm i'm so happy to have her in my collection she's so beautiful love her she's canvas mixed with a little bit of leather so love this bag so much she's amazing she's the queen and she's going to sit here so that we can close this video anyway thank you so much and i hope that i did a good job to share with you guys all of my luxury canvas bag and i do love these bags i do enjoy wearing canvas and i think i should now start to slowly introducing myself into the leather bags because i know this canvas bag no matter how many i will buy them they will not appreciate the value in the future they will not even this one when I will take it to the second hand market, if it's the same store that I will take it back, the price will go down according to the wear and tear. If it has more scratches, stains, so the value will go down because they cannot clean this bag when it, like the way it is canvas. So I think I should start slowly to introduce myself into the leather bags. The leather bags, they will appreciate the value. If I want to sell it later in the future, they will appreciate more the value. So I will start to introduce myself into the leather bags more and the queen once i will have her like the bokin that will be the rocket of starting her, to start to own the leather bag so let's see what the future will bring for now i'm going to stop the video here and i hope you will enjoy the bag collection and this is the the bags that i have and i'm so happy and I enjoyed talking about these bags and sharing with you here. Anyway, subscribe, like, share, hit that notification button so that you don't miss out any of my video. For now, have a lovely time. Bye. <laughs>